All right, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm going out to do the chickens like I normally do. Um, I'm going to do a little chicken 101 video, a little couple little tips and tricks that I wish people had told me or people that thought that people did tell me that I didn't listen to and I regret now. Um, I have about 11 chickens. I have Rhode Island Reds that are here. I got a couple Easter Eggers that are over here in this coop. And then I have a couple Olive Eggers that I just picked up that are being separated for, you know, make sure that they're not diseased or anything like that, which is what people say you should do. You're supposed to separate them for, I think they say 30 days. These are them. Hi, guys. A um, couple little quick things. Uh, I'll give you a little tour of this coop. This is my main coop here. Got a little clip up top there so it doesn't fall and hit you it hurts uh these are the nesting boxes here nothing special just a little bit of bedding in there got a couple eggs already and uh some straw they do poop in there you usually have to clean it out every now and then but uh quick little run through inside it's got uh, the pine bedding. You can pick it up at Tractor Supply. That's where I get it. Yeah, I'm just right now I'm doing the uh, deep litter method because it is winter time and it helps keep the coop a little bit warmer. Yeah, I got you know you got net roosting bar, roosting bar, roosting bar, and a couple chickens coming to say hi. Hi, chickies. No petting today. All right, a couple things I had wished listen to and what other people told me to do. This is my uh, this is my run here. It's eight foot by eight foot by four foot. It works perfect for the six chickens that are in there. I wish the only thing I wish I had done different was made it taller because going in there to clean it out really kind of sucks. Watch out, guys. Uh, feeder wise, I have three different feeders. This is one of them. It's by far the best one. It holds about 30 pounds of food. It's getting a little empty now. It holds about 30 pounds of food. Hi, cheeky. And uh, it works great. I have it hanging from the roof so I can take it in and out to fill it. It's just a little easier than uh, walking over here back and forth. Get in there, guys. This is the waterer that I have. It, uh, I just picked it up a couple months ago. It works great. It's actually heated. It's got a plug. It's got a plug right there. And uh, plug it in in the wintertime. Keeps the water from freezing. I have not plugged it in yet, though, because it is not cold enough here yet. It's, I'm in South Jersey. And it's about uh, it's mid-November. About 40 degrees, really not that cold yet. I'm out here in a short sleeve shirt, so it's really not, it's a little warm than normal, but you know. I got that thing there I built that uh, just gives them kind of somewhere to go out of the sun in the summertime when it's real hot. But uh, I would recommend something like that. You know, it works real good for what I use it for. So, number one tip I would give you is uh, definitely make your run taller going in there to clean it out really kind of sucks and uh i'm only 5'10 and just bending over to do it and it's no fun yeah so um food wise fridge this is my layer pellets here go out get yourself one of these bigger uh, scooper things i'd recommend it makes it a lot easier when you're walking back and forth instead of making 100 trips i had this guy it's not very big just upgrade go out buy a bigger one uh i keep all my food and stuff inside trash cans i went out and bought a real expensive fancy storage bin you know lock tight top and all that stuff 
broke after like a month, got a crack in the top and water was getting in there. Trash cans work fine. I give my chickens every day, scratch, it's nothing special. Just, you know, Purina scratch blend, nothing real fancy. I do mix in uh, oyster shells for added calcium, you know, just nothing fancy. Pick it up, all, get it all tractor supply. That's where I get it all. And then the pine bedding that I have that I buy a tractor supply as well. I get the uh, small one. Works great, especially inside the coops and stuff, inside the nesting boxes. So, you know, definitely invest in trash cans. Don't go out and buy yourself fancy little storage bins. It's not necessary. Also, when you're cleaning your coops, get these at Tractor Supply too. When you're cleaning your coops, kids' rakes work great. I have kids, so I just have them at the house anyway. Kids' rakes and shovels and stuff work great. Really kind of get you in there. I have, uh, you know, kid shovel. It's not real big. Another kid shovel. And then a kid's rake. Works great. Take you over to this coop real quick. Give you a little walk through. I bought this coop at Tractor Supply. It served its purpose for when I only had a couple chickens, but I upgraded and got more chickens. You'll figure that out when uh, chicken math is a real thing. Now this coop's really nothing special. It's got the same water that the other one has, the heated one. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I've had no problems with it. I would recommend it. Hey guys, as you can see, I have another different cut type of feeder in here. This I would not recommend. You can see it's kind of it's supposed to be gravity fed. It's full of crap right now. I don't have it hanging off the ground, which I should, but I don't. And there is no pellets in there. None at all. So it's all gunk up. Let's see if I can shake a little out or something. Okay, you got to go in there and kind of shake it. Now you can see that there is a lot of layer pellets in there now. But like I said, I would not recommend that. I'll give you a quick little rundown of this coop too real quick. This one, like I said, I got it at Tractor Supply. It's really nothing fancy. It's good for about three chickens. I had uh, six in there at one point. It was a little too small. Granted, I don't have an added run on it at the moment. You know, the back just opens right up. And uh, you have three nesting boxes. One, two, three. And then you have where they're going to sleep. You got a little roosting bar right there and a little roosting bar right there. These chickens are Easter eggers. They give you blue eggs. These ones here are Rhode Island Reds. They give you uh, brown eggs. Lock that up. So, like I said, it's pretty simple coop. I got it at Tractor Supply. You know, it's perfect for like three, three chickens. Which is what I have in there now. I wouldn't go any more than that. You know, it's got a little thing on the front there to attach to a run, which I did have this attached to a run at one point before I got my other coop. But uh, chicken math got me, and I ended up getting three more chickens. And then chicken math got me again, and I ended up getting two more. So uh, these guys here are my new ones. I do have another a new coop coming from uh easy chicken coops should be here on monday and uh i'll put that together i might make a video i really don't know but uh this right here is their water that they have you know it works pretty good I, I don't have really any complaints about it this is their water put it down real quick yeah just Something else I got from Tractor Supply. I don't have any complaints about it. It works good. Works fine for what I need it for. Put that down. What I would not recommend is this thing here. 
Watch out. If I can reach it. This is where kids' toys come in real handy. Walk over here, grab one of the kids' toys real quick, one of their little shovels. Because I cannot reach the thing because it is underneath their little makeshift coop that I have for them. Grab that real quick. Stick that little toy in there. Go underneath and... And pull that out. That over there real quick. This is what I bought when they were just little babies. When I had them, uh, when I got my Rhode Island Reds as little baby chicks, I bought this. You know, it worked great for when I had them in a tote, which is what I started them out at. Worked great for when I had it in there. Not really so much for when it's outside. As uh, as you'll see in about probably about 10 seconds, I'm gonna fill it up real quick, give them a little bit of fresh, uh, fresh lighter feed over here. But uh, as I was saying, you'll see in about two seconds, I'm gonna give them some fresh lighter feed, and uh, it, it gets knocked over real easy, it's not real good for being outside in a tube. Especially, and there's only two chickens eating out of it. Really doesn't work that well. I would not recommend it for outside use for in a chicken coop. When you first get your chickens, I would highly recommend it. It worked great. But, uh, you know, it gets knocked over and stuff and it's a mess. And especially when it rains. As you can see there, they've got a little bit of fresh layer feed. They're going to start tearing that up. Probably tip it over in about, probably under a minute. But, uh, you know, this here is my original water for when I had them as babies as well. <clears throat> that water worked great for when I had them inside and, uh, you know, when they were just little babies. And I was raising them up from chicks, but being outside doesn't hold enough. I would recommend something uh, a little bit larger and uh you know kind of go from there people are going to tell you all the time you know you need real fancy stuff and this that, and the other thing i had a guy from work stop by the other day and take a look at uh my chicken setup he wanted chickens thought they were a lot more work than they are and uh it's really not that bad it's really not there's not much to it I built the chicken run myself, this one here. I built it myself, it really wasn't that hard. Like I said, it's four foot by eight foot by eight foot, eight foot long, eight foot wide, four foot high. Go a little taller. It's not difficult to build. I mean, as you can see, it's just two by fours and uh, you know, just you know, a little, little hinge for the door. You know, little hinges for normal doors. You don't need nothing fancy. Watch out, girl. Get in there. You don't need nothing crazy fancy for it and all that stuff. And these big old, big old monster rubble tell you that you're going to need. You really don't. For this, eight foot by eight foot, I wouldn't go any more than six chickens. I feel like they have pretty adequate amount of room. You know, and it seems to uh, work pretty well for my needs. Like I said, I do have another chicken coop coming on Monday. Today is Saturday that I'm going to probably, probably put together on Monday. It's, uh, I think it's called Easy Chicken Coop. It comes from a place out in Pennsylvania. I ordered it and uh, it should be here. It's made by the Amish. It's supposed to be really good quality. I'll probably make a video of uh, me putting that together. They say you can put it together in 30 minutes or less with just a drill. So I'll kind of put that to the test. And I'll probably make a video of that. I'm new to this whole video making thing, so kind of bear with me. But, uh, you know, as, uh, I'll go back to the uh, coop here. You know, like I said, I do put wood chips on the ground because we've been getting a lot of rain lately. And uh, you can see it's not really that muddy over there where the wood chips are. It's a sloppy mud hole right here where the chickens have kicked everything out. Hi, girl. 
And uh, so wood chips work good. I'm lucky enough to work for a tree service company, so I get my wood chips for free. But, you know, you can pick them up anywhere. Get in there, girl. But uh, <clears throat> there's my ramp to get inside my coop. It's nothing fancy. I built it out of two by fours. Extra parts I had, extra pieces I had from uh, this, from building my run. Nothing fancy, nothing special. You don't need nothing crazy. Just enough for them to get in and out. You, you know, you can see the uh, chicken just went in there and went in fine. She's actually still sitting in the door there. Get in there, girl. But uh, another run I would make is uh, buy your chicken feed local. I used to buy all my chicken feed at uh, Tractor Supply. I ended up finding a local person who does sell chicken feed. Which the stuff I have right here. It's uh, pallet form. She does sell crumbles too. But I, uh, she ran out. And I was, at, I ran out. And then she ran out. So she wasn't able to uh, supply me till two days after I needed it. I had to pick up a little tiny bag from Tractor Supply just to get me by until, you know, she, so my chickens aren't starving. And, uh, it, I'm comparing it to this, the color's real dull compared to this. The, the nutrition's that, nutrients that are in it aren't, just aren't up to what this is from a local feed mill. And, uh, so I would highly recommend finding a local feed mill or something like that if possible. If not, kind of, you know, do whatever you can, but... Uh, if I had some tractor supply stuff, I would compare. I don't have any. But, uh, like I said, the color on the uh, feed mill stuff was better. The quality of it's better. My egg laying production has gone up. The quality of my eggs have gone up. The yolks look 100 times better since I started doing this. But, uh, yeah, so try to, you know, like I said, just try to find a local feed mill if possible. I'm going to go ahead and show you my old water that I have for my chickens here. I did have this, I <clears throat> just a <clears throat> five gallon bucket with uh, little cups on the side that automatically refill. It actually worked great for a little bit, but uh, that was in my coop and it started to leak. The cups did, I tightened them up again, you know, made sure all the seals and stuff are raw, uh, were sealed up. And you can see here how they just kind of screw in, drill a hole, screw them in, and they screw it in nice. You know, I would I would recommend them. I had them on for probably about six months, and then they started leaking real bad. I could just replace them, but I chose not to because I needed something that would, you know, I needed something heated because I live in New Jersey. And uh, we do get pretty cold to where it would freeze. So I just decided to upgrade my watering system. But uh, they did work great. Like I said, they started the leak and made my coop a uh, runny, uh, watery mess. So I just decided to upgrade. Um, trying to think about what else I can kind of throw in this for anybody who's looking to be, you know, just get jackets for the first time or looking for just any kind of ideas. Um, I think that's all I got for now, but, uh, you know, as I think of stuff, I'm probably, I might make another video and, uh, throw in you know, any other ideas I come up with in that. All right. Thanks guys.